G'day students, so for today I'm going to discuss momentum and impulse. What is momentum? It is said here that it is the product of the mass of a body and its velocity. The momentum of a body does not change unless a resultant or unbalanced force acts on that body. So it is expressed as the given formula. We have V is equal to M times V. So the P there represents the momentum and the V is for velocity and M is for the mass. So in finding the momentum of an object, you're just going to find the product of its mass and its velocity. So momentum also, it refers to the quantity of motion of an object has. So we have here a sample word problem. A car has a mass of 1.9 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms. Its velocity is 12 meter per second. Find its momentum. So in the given, we have the given mass and the velocity. So it is a vector quantity which follows a direction. That's why the unit here is in meter per second. Ang hinahanap dun sa ating word problem is yung mismong momentum ng ating car. Alright, so we're going to use this formula. P is equal to mv. So lahat po yan is small letter lamang. And then next, we're just going to substitute the given values. 1.9 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms times or multiplied by 12 meter per second. So using calculator... So, ganito ulit yung pag-compute natin. So, we have here 1.9 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 12. So, the final answer is equal to 2.28 times 10 raised to 4. So, ito na po yung final answer natin and... Don't forget to include the units. Alright? So, ang magiging unit once na hinahanap natin is the momentum is equal to kilogram meter per second. Since we're just going to multiply the values here, so the units, ganun din yung mangyayari sa kanya. So, kumbaga, pagsasama-samahin lang natin siya. So, we have kilogram meter per second. Next is, what is impulse? So, an object that is moving has momentum. In order to stop it, a force must act on it for a given period of time. So, impulse refers to the force being applied to a certain amount of time to change an object's momentum. So, it is expressed as impulse is equal to the force times the change in Time. It says here that when an object is moving, it is said to be on the move and it could be difficult to stop unless we're going to apply force on it for some amount of time in order for it to stop or change its velocity. Alright? So, when we have an object which has a lesser mass, Alright, kung medyo magaan yung ating object. So, meaning to say, less amount ng force lang yung i-apply natin. But on the other hand, if an object has a greater mass, therefore, it needs a greater amount of force. So, we have here, sample word problem. You swat at a fly, hitting the lampshade with a force of 100 newtons for 100 milliseconds. Calculate the impulse. So, we have here the given force which is equal to 100 newtons and the given time which is 100 milliseconds. So, as you can observe, the given time here is in milliseconds and we need to convert it into seconds. Alright? So, in conversion, we have 1 second is equal to 1000 milliseconds. So, 100 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0.1 second. Alright? 
So, we're going to use this formula. I is equal to FT or force times the change in time. And then, we're going to substitute the given values for the force, we have 100 newton. And for the time, yung mismong converted na time ang ilalagay natin. So, we have 0 0.1 second. And get its product or we're just going to multiply these values. And the answer will be 10 newton seconds. Alright? So, yung dash dyan is kumbaga representation lang natin na pinagsama natin yung ating given units. Alright? Kasi nag-multiply tayo sa process na to or dito sa word problem na to. Alright? So, ganito lamang yung magiging solution ninyo. But don't forget to include the given. Next word problem, you top a ball with a force of 15 newton and a total impulse is 11 newton second. How long did it take you? So, we have here the given force which is 15 newton and the impulse which is equal to 11 newton second and we need to find the time since it is us in the problem how long okay how long did it take you so we're going to derive the general formula which is impulse is equal to the force times the change in time so this is the process on converting the general formula so, we're just going to divide both sides by F to cancel out F here. And ang matitira lamang dun sa kabilang side is yung T. Alright, so we have here this derived formula which is T is equal to I over F. And we need to substitute the given values. So, for the impulse, we have 11 newton second. And for the force, we have 50 newton. So, ipinakita rin po dito yung cancellation of units natin, ng newtons is, this is just same unit. Alright? And, since time yung pinag-uusapan natin, yun yung hinahanap natin, therefore, the final answer should be in seconds. So, we're just going to find the quotient of these values, 11 divided by 50. Try it on your calculator and you will get 0 0.22 as it's answer so in here given these values of force and impulse we get the value of the time which is equal to 0 0.22 seconds so that would be all for today and don't forget that we need to derive the formula kung ano man yung hinahanap natin na term all right so, kung yan man ay time, so ipinakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-derive ng formula. And the same process lang din kung ang hinahanap natin halimbawa is force. Alright? So, ang gagawin nyo naman doon is i-divide nyo lang both side by T or yung time to cancel out it. And ang matitira lamang is yung F on the other side. So, we have the, the right formula if you're looking for the force which is Force is equal to impulse over time. So, that's it. Ganun lang po mag-derive ng formula. And again, don't forget to cancel out the same units. Alright? Kasi ang kailangan natin makita dito is kung ano ba yung unit na ilalagay natin sa final answer natin. Alright? So, the impulse and momentum has this relationship which is just like a moving object or an object that is at rest so you need to exert a force in order for it to move or to stop all right so if it is moving you need to exert a force to stop it and if it is in rest position you need to exert also a force in order for it to move that's why the force there refers to the impulse and then the movement of the object refers to the momentum so that's it for today and i hope you've learned something so if you have clarifications just message me directly that would be all for today goodbye everyone and thank you for listening